comes with a search for solid ground and safe harbor. The search for our golden world. I'm Suvi Anwar, part of the Nexus Science Team and the Science Officer assigned to the Tempest. I'm here to explain the basics of the golden worlds we're planning to inhabit. Without mass relays, our first wave of arcs will focus on a pocket of stars called the Helios Cluster. In a galaxy of one trillion stars, Helios has rich resources and seven promising golden worlds. We have labeled habitats one through seven. These worlds represent our best chance to find a new home. Golden worlds should not just be capable of supporting life, but should also be rich in minerals to supply our colonies and the initiative itself. The Nexus requires vast quantities of Helium-3, water, ice, and Element-0 to continue functioning. The more resources we gather, the more upgrades we can complete on the Nexus's infrastructure. The more colonists we can then awaken from cryosleep. There's no way to know for sure what state these golden worlds will be in until we get there, but our surveys have given us some preliminary data. Habitat 1 is an arid world with vast underground rivers. Despite the dry desert climate, temperatures are well within a comfortable range for settlement. Habitat 2, a large moon orbiting a gas giant, is expected to be rich in minerals and could potentially act as a resource for generations to come. Habitat 3 plays host to lush jungle canopies and rolling hills. While Habitat 4 scan suggests an immense wealth of liquid surface water, making it an ideal candidate as a life-sustaining world. For Arturian and Quarian colonists, Habitat 5 appears to be a perfect home for dextroprotein life. Scans suggest Habitat 6 has wide oceans and a temperate climate. Last of all, Habitat 7 currently has all the markers of a tropical paradise. This will be our first destination upon arrival, 600 years from now, and quite possibly, your future home. Pathfinder teams will investigate these planets to determine their viability. This includes everything from pacifying unforeseen threats and allying with potential indigenous populations to solving environmental problems in an attempt to secure suitable placement for settlement outposts. Once an outpost is established, word is sent to the Nexus and more colonists can be awakened to continue the migration process. For those of you taking these first steps, it should also be noted that some worlds may already be the sovereign soil of an existing culture, a concern we will need to treat with respect. Our new home is out there, waiting to be discovered, and these seven worlds represent our best chance to make that dream a reality. We've done everything in our power to give you a head start once we arrive. But the next steps now lie firmly with you. Your path in Andromeda is our future. And every step brings us closer to home. first, but it's a new galaxy. We need to be ready for any situation, including combat. I'm Liam Costa, security and response specialist for the Pathfinder team. Before we set out, you need some basic firearms and mobility training. The name of the game is Adaptability. Only so much cargo space on the arcs, so initiative weapons and armor, designed to be customized multiple times in the field. There's four main types of guns to work with. Pistols, shotguns, Assault Rifles, and Sniper Rifles. Pistols are your standard medium to short range weapon. Easy to aim and fire, and low recoil so you can shoot on the move. Lightweight, quick to reload. When you're ready to punch it up a little, Carnifex Pistol with Grenade Launcher Augmentation for the advanced user. Next, Shotguns. Perfect for getting in close. Shotguns are simple. For large targets, grouping, or just some extra kick. They hit hard with a wide shot pattern. Like all our kits, they're highly adaptable. A personal favorite, Katana with laser shells. For obvious reasons. Next up, Assault Rifles. High rate of fire for covering fast targets and making short work of shields. And if you watch your recoil, good at distance too. If you can see your mark, chances are you can hit it. Augmentation of choice, Avenger with electrical conduit. 
Last in the queue, sniper rifles. The heavy hitters. High powered, accurate, and long, long range. They'll take down almost anything while it's still a speck in your scope. Now, guns on everything. Close quarters training is a must. Do you have the finesse for an Asari biotic sword? Or the muscle for a Krogan hammer? Some of you have biotic implants or advanced Omni tool tech. Biotic abilities can shape the world. And if fighting is unavoidable, they'll be your go-to. Any object can be a projectile, even your target. Or just toss them into the air and give squad mates an easy shot. When you're manipulating combat at a gravitational level, almost anything is possible. Omni tools are tools, and they're just as useful for defense and offense. With tuning and training, they can be outfitted to freeze, burn, or electrify. And never underestimate a tried and true Omniblade. Options are key. I prefer a little of everything, but if you focus on certain skills, you can do amazing things. Biotic specialist, Adept is the pass for you. Feeling tactical? Sentinel is the way. Want to get in fast and shake things up? Vanguard. Have a look at each specialization and you'll get an idea of what they can do. What you can do. Last but not least, let's talk mobility. Fun mobility. Jump jets. Need the high ground? You've always got it handy. A quick dash will get you out of an attack path. Like everything else, jump jets are adaptable if things get rough. Nothing better for exploration. The initiative is about a new beginning, pioneering. With the right gear and the right skills, we'll be ready for anything. Everyone has a role. And most importantly, we've got each other's backs. potential golden worlds, identify settlement sites, and start the process of building our new home. We act under our own authority and represent the tip of the spear in Andromeda. Every arc has its own team, and every team has its own pathfinder, senior mission officers, experts in survival, diplomacy, and if that fails, combat. Our Pathfinder on Ark Hyperion is Alec Ryder, whose pioneering service history speaks for itself. A skilled soldier with N7 ranking and a talented scientist, Ryder was a member of the original task force who traveled through the Charon Mass Relay and took humanity's first steps across the galaxy. Now, he's preparing us to tackle the next great frontier, Andromeda. Liam specializes in crisis response, Every team needs its idealist, and Liam is ours. Sarah and Scott Ryder are Pathfinder's son and daughter, and former Alliance recruits fresh off tours with the Arctura Station Outpost and Prothean Artifacts team, respectively. And myself, Lieutenant Cora Harper. To be brief, I'm a biotic, the team's operations specialist in charge of ground missions, and I spent the last four years serving alongside Asari Commandos. And finally, our last team member, Sam. Short for Simulated Adaptive Matrix, Sam is an artificial intelligence designed by our Pathfinder himself. From his node in the Ark, Sam receives a direct feed of the Pathfinder's sensory input via a neural implant. It sees and feels as Ryder does, providing him advanced situational awareness, problem solving, and even tactical enhancements. All members of the Pathfinder team receive implants, allowing them to communicate directly with Sam. The individuals who make up this team are everything the Andromeda Initiative represents. A chance for the bravest and the brightest to come together for something bigger than ourselves. If you have what it takes to join us, we'll make sure there's a bunk on the Tempest with your name on it.
Glad to make your acquaintance, recruits. The lucky few of you accepted to the Pathfinder team will be flying with me. I'm Kalo Jav, and this is the Tempest. I've been her pilot since the early prototype days, so take my word when I tell you that she's light, stealthy, and easily the fastest ship in her class, capable of doing 13 light years per day. Of course, all that speed comes with some sacrifice. She isn't weighed down by heavy armor or a main gun, but rest assured, anything we can't outrun will have a tough time finding us. Between missions, Pathfinder team will call the Tempest home, and everything in our home is state-of-the-art. Our research room is available for R&D needs. This will be the space for gathering intel and samples we've acquired, and working out their practical application in upgrading everything from weapons, to armor, to the Nomad Scout Rover. It's all supported by discoveries from the Tech and Bio Labs board. The meeting room gives us a place to gather the crew, or video conference with the Nexus. Below are engineering, the Tempest's armory, med bay, and the cargo bay, which houses the Nomad. During your downtime, you can relax in the crew quarters or the galley. The Pathfinder's cabin is also located nearby, but is off-limits to the general crew. Unless invited, of course. My place is on the bridge. This is where the Pathfinder operates our nav system, synced specifically to them. Any destination in the Helios Cluster right at their fingertips. Once we verify ground conditions with our scanners, the Tempest will enter the atmosphere, touch down, and the team will head out in the Nomad for a closer look. This rover is the definition of all-terrain. With twin hydrogen-oxygen fuel cells powering an element zero core, independent suspension for each wheel, and interchangeable four- or six-wheel drive, she comes equipped with a rear fuel injection boost to propel you forward. And in any tight spots, helium-3 micro-thrusters beneath the vehicle are on hand to blast you clear. The Nomad must be able to adapt to difficult conditions. The modularity of its design allows everything from thrusters, shields, shield blast, life support, radar, and of course, paint jobs to be customized based on our surroundings. And most crucial of all is your ability to scan planet surfaces for valuable resources and mine them with deployable mining drones. We have an entire galaxy to scout recruits. The next time I welcome you on board the Tempest, I hope to do so as crewmates. See you in Andromeda. Welcome, recruits. I am Avina, your virtual intelligence resource and guide for the duration of this briefing. Inspired by the Milky Way Citadel, the Nexus is a smaller, streamlined space station, designed to serve as your central support hub and temporary home once in Andromeda. The Nexus will carry with it a contingent of officials, engineers, traders, and security personnel on its voyage to Andromeda. All remaining humans will travel together, 20,000 strong on Arc Hyperion. Even with faster than light travel, it would still take several human lifetimes to cover the 2.5 million light years to your destination. Survival will be made possible by spending the majority of this voyage in cryostasis, protected beneath the Mass Effect shields generated by your pods. As you travel to the edges of the known galaxy, a small escort of combat pilots will defend us from any threats. However, once we cross into dark space, we will be alone with only our kinetic barriers to shield us during our centuries-long journey. Once in Andromeda, the Nexus and Arcs will rendezvous in the Helios Cluster, and operations will commence immediately. While the Nexus will be largely functional at launch, many elements of its construction are only scheduled for completion upon arrival at our destination. Docked to the Nexus, the Arcs will provide additional power and storage to the station. You will be revived and assigned quarters in one of the residential blocks for a short time, as our immigration staff assists you in choosing a new homeworld. Until the Pathfinders have completed securing these habitats, the Nexus will offer many duties and distractions. The archives in the Cultural Center house the combined history of the many Milky Way species and will assist new races encountered in learning about our galaxy and its past. Lush hydroponics gardens are available for a quiet escape 
Or you can also take the opportunity to socialize with a visit to the Vortex Lounge for any desired off-duty indulgences. The Operations Center will oversee security and management of the entire station, housing everything from colonization efforts to Pathfinder HQ, where Pathfinders will converge to share information and discuss their progress. The state-of-the-art science labs will also be on hand to investigate their discoveries as they begin to unlock the secrets of this new galaxy. Together, we will create a bustling center of trade, community, government, and diplomacy. The beating heart of your new beginning in Andromeda. I invite you to visit me there for further assistance. Congratulations on your successful acceptance into the Andromeda Initiative. My name is Gian Garson, the founder of this unprecedented mission. This journey is a major milestone for all of humanity, as well as every other species in the Milky Way galaxy. You are about to embark on a voyage unlike anything attempted before. And make no mistake, this is a one-way trip. 600 years from now, you will awake from cryostasis on the outskirts of the Andromeda Galaxy. Most of you will be aboard Ark Hyperion, while the rest will travel on the Nexus with me. In addition to Hyperion, three other Arcs, each harboring a separate species, will depart the Milky Way at the same time. Each Ark will be assigned its own Pathfinder, a blend of elite soldier, scientist, and guide who will be tasked with finding a new home on one of the golden worlds that our long-range sensors have identified within Andromeda's Helios Cluster. Over the coming months, you will be briefed on a selection of classified information, all of which will be critical to your success. ARCs and Nexus Overviews, Ground and Space Vehicle Certification, Outpost Establishment Guidelines, First contact protocols should we encounter new sapient life forms. In addition, those accepted onto the Pathfinder team will also receive weapons, biotics, and survival training for even the harshest environments. You represent some of the best humanity has to offer, and I again salute your bravery in accepting this mission. There are no guarantees, no certainties. But, if successful, we have a chance to do the impossible and create a new future for all humanity. Begin your journey. This path began a long time ago. A course paved through human history that took us across continents, oceans, and ultimately, to the stars. For us, this planet is home. It's protected us, challenged us, and provided us the foundation to become galactic citizens. But the time has come to prepare ourselves for a future beyond the Milky Way. A future that begins 600 years from where we stand, in a time and place among unknown stars and unseen dangers. And so we issue this call to the brave, the inquisitive, to the trailblazers of the human race as an invitation to stand on the shoulders of those who came before and challenge yourself to go further. Begin your journey. Join the Andromeda Initiative today.